Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys 5 series and let's say you did some work on it and all of a sudden the BMW doesn't want to start or it starts very slow or it's running unstable, it's revving up, high, down or it's misfiring guys, we'll explain what are the top reasons for that after you worked on your BMW guys 5 series. Now, we'll demonstrate on N52 engine, this is the 6 cylinder gasoline engine, but even if you have a 4 cylinder V8 engine, procedure will be very similar guys and the uh, uh, problems may be about the same as well, so we want to cover that today. Now, before we start guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information now if you guys want to check all the parts and tools that we use in our videos check out the links in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get all the parts and tools for a really good price so let me show you guys okay what we have now this is six cylinder n52 n52 engine guys but even if you have n53 n54 even other engines procedure will be very similar guys now if you let's say had to guys replace throttle body or you had to replace intake boot or engine starter or rebuild your CCV system guys knock sensors anything like that engine mount all that is here guys you had to remove uh, some components here on the side of the engine okay and your car doesn't start we'll cover the top reasons for that now number one let's say you had to remove uh, intake boot and the car doesn't start you most likely have a loose hose clamp uh, where it attaches to the throttle body hose clamp here and the one to the intake uh, filter box guys so make sure you didn't leave any hose clamps loose because that will create a vacuum leak the engine will be getting more air than it needs and the car may not start or may not run correctly make sure that you didn't damage or crack your intake boot in the process of removal or replacement that thing uh, replacing it guys because a crack will cause a vacuum leak again if you had to remove the throttle body make sure that you connect it guys okay your cable make sure that the gasket on the back is not too flat otherwise it's recommended to replace it because it can develop a leak what about number number three guys intake manifold if you had to remove it these gaskets are recommended to be replaced almost every time guys because they get super flat and as a result they may not seal good and that guys could be catastrophic because if uh, they don't seal good you will get extra air and your engine may not start or start revving very unstable now Something else, you have the CCV system on some engines underneath. This is the crank case ventilation system. Make sure that all the hoses are connected properly and they're not leaking. Another thing, on the intake, on the intake manifold, guys, you have one opening here. This opening is for your purge control valve. Make sure the purge control valve is connecting correctly, otherwise you will develop a vacuum leak that will be enormous and your car may not start, guys. So that's very common as well but let's say all that checks out what else it could be guys very common reason that we see here at the shop okay when you yank the wires out of the way you have this wire under the engine starter this is known as a crankshaft position sensor wire guys that wire okay if you yank it a little bit it comes out so you have to be extremely careful this is for the crankshaft position sensor and you may get guys some of these codes post code p0335 i forgot to write this down it's very common code as well guys and if that wire is not connected you may even get transmission light your car may not be running correctly transmission may be even sleeping because your crankshaft position sensor will not be working guys so check for loose connections okay loose wires loose hoses broken hoses not plugged in hoses and check for all the wiring harness being installed correctly guys uh, now make sure gaskets are not leaking as well thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time